Good evening. So, I don't usually do this kind of videos, but I think this one is very important. So, and I'm trying to figure out the lighting. Okay. Um, I usually don't do this kind of videos, but this one is very important to me. So, for a few months now, because I wanted to have an informed opinion, I didn't want to research anything. I didn't want to have someone else's opinion. I've been paying attention to Paul, w Paul Wilson's Torah Life Ministries um, YouTube channel. Now, the first time I subscribed it, I found the name a little odd, but he had the good um, video that I thought was on Torah. Um, and he didn't ma mention genius back then so okay then the notifications started coming in i started to notice that whenever i came from shabbos there would be a ton of notifications i think he does live streams or whatever there's a ton of notifications whenever i come from shabbos and that's a red flag a real torch you would not upload videos on youtube on shabbos much less like if you had pre-recorded them, it's so, okay, I get it. Sometimes I upload videos and I pre, you know, I pre-upload them, but it's really rare. I usually rather post them from one day to the other, but I made the clear decision, hang on, that even if I can program videos to post on Shabbos, that even if I don't record them on Shabbos, someone else may think that I do record them on Shabbos and it may lead a Jew astray thinking that it's okay to be using electricity on Shabbos. So I decided that even if I have to... There are very different types of money. I heard the question is how we can uh, mm -hmm. So I decided that even if I have to wait to record until Monday, or if I have to record on Friday and not be able to upload it, I'd rather upload it late or, you know, earlier than to program it to go online. And, you know, it's, 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 it's the thing. Don't, if you're Jewish, don't use internet on Shabbos. It's not just about you. It's about your people. If you're following the Torah, you have God's commandments to follow. And whatever you do has an impact on your people. So, uh, I'm still not a logically clear so for me if I did it it would be okay but I don't want to do it now he is allegedly allegedly Jewish because he claims his parents are Jewish although we know that Christian pastors tend to lie about it but it's all right I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt but if he is indeed descendant of Jewish parents he should be observing Shabbat because Shabbat is God's day and God doesn't want us to work on Shabbat. Now, YouTube is electricity. If I'm not turning on the light for Shabbat, I'm certainly not going to turn on my computer or my camera or whatever. It is against God's law. And so, if he is trying to set an example for other people it's like <laughs> it is bad for a Jew to break Shabbos it is far worse for a Jew to lead and inspire other Jews to break Shabbos that's the least of our problems with Paul Wilson and Torah Life Ministries. Now this 
YouTube channel is a proxy for evangelical Christians to evangelize Jews and basically mislead them into Christianity. Of course, no normal Jew, no same Jew, would convert to Christianity willingly. So what they do is they pose as Jews, they pose as observant Jews, they say, oh, I just believe in Yeshua. They don't even call him Jesus, they use Yeshua just to be more Jews, more Hebraicized. To attract the Jewish mind, they will basically be teaching them that <laughs> and not joking, the King James Version of the Bible, the Protestant Bible, and claim they are teaching Torah. And they fool a lot of people with this. That's my main problem with this YouTube channel. The YouTube channel's name is Torah Life Ministries. Now, ministries can clean your room to what the hell is this crap? But then again, you see Torah Life, so okay, it's a Jewish um, YouTube channel. He was wearing the black keeper. Okay, and that particular lecture didn't mention Yeshua or Jesus. He says Yeshua, but yeah. So okay, I was in. Then the next lecture mentions Jesus, and of course I knew what was it. But a lot of Jews were raised by secular parents, just like he claims that he was. And so a lot of Jews are going to be soaked into that channel and being misguided into worshipping a dead Jew as though it was God. Now, Messianic Jews will mislead you into believing that you're doing nothing wrong. They will change the language, but still you're going to follow the Christian Bible word by word. The only thing is they adapt it and mask it as Judaism. They will use a kippah, they will sing Jewish songs, they will basically use Jewish food, they will lure the Jew with familiar things so that they can basically brainwash them into Christianity. And a lot of Jews fall for that. So I believe it's important to expose Paul Wilson for, Wilson for what he's doing. He's leading fellow Jews into idolatry. That is the worst thing he can do. Like, and I know I wasn't born Jewish. I may have Jewish ancestry, but still, and I know how Christians act. He is basically using the Christian Bible, claiming he's teaching you Torah. Often time, he says he uses Jewish terminology and applies it to the Christian Bible to lure you in. It's a really deceptive tactic. If you're Jewish and you're disconnected from God, and you want to reconnect from God, I really recommend to God, I really recommend you to go to Chabad. They have a great repertoire of lectures. They have Chabad in almost every country, if not more in certain countries. They are almost in every city. There is no reason for allowing these vultures to prey on your Jewish soul. This man is basically praying on your Jewish so, I don't know if he is really Jewish, if he was misguided, because a lot of secular Jews, sadly, are misguided by Christians into believing into something that goes against all the laws of the Torah. Now, you have great options. If you're approached by this kind of Jew, make sure to go for JewsForJudaism.org, which is a great organ that helps you fight every single brainwashing tactic that these Messianic Jews evangelists have to lure you into Christi Christianity. I'm telling you, as an ex-Catholic, 
that I was not really a Catholic, but I know their tactics and how hard they try to lure you into their cult. So, as a Jew, you have a Jewish soul, and it is far worse for you to do idolatry than for any other person in the world. You have a duty to yourself and to your people, so don't fall for Messianic Judaism. This YouTube channel, Torah Life Ministries, is a tool to lead you off the derash. derash. So, please, ignore that YouTube channel. Paul Nelson is making you stray from the Torah, and you should not listen to him. They will use various, various ingenious tactics to make you stray from the Torah and you should be really careful. For instance, he will take the Bible or even the Torah and they will quote little passages to give shape to their narrative and try to prove you the secular Jew or the Jew that has no or little knowledge of Torah to make you believe that his views about Jesus it's basically Christianity but to validate Jesus as the Messiah but if you're a Jew with a good knowledge of Torah you will see that what they do is they mistranslate certain parts of the Torah and they cherry pick. So they will take passages of the Torah that refer to other people in the Bible and they will claim that those passages of the Torah refer, refer to Jesus. One of the common passages and books is Isaiah where, that they use to justify Jesus as the Messiah when first it is never referring to a virgin but rather a young woman and second even well that they talk in that passage is the son of that young woman and the king who was going into war it is not it does not refer to their false messiah there's a lot of passages that they're going to quote to you to try and prove to you that their Messiah is the Messiah. But don't be fooled, they are taking it out of context. Now, how, how do you read the book? How does a normal person read a book? Now, I'm taking this book and um, how do you read the book? So, actually, I'm going to suggest this book because it was given to me by the Rebbe Hanabaka Sigalwam, and it's a great book. It's Women at Crossroads, Women's Perspective on the Weekly Torah Portion. She is a great, great Rebbe uh, She teaches at the Midrashah in Beirut Pat Ayn. Um, very, very, very very great she teaches you know she has amazing classes on Torah to meet she really teaches girls how to be proper ladies conservative ladies respecting themselves she taught me a lot in the little time I was there uh, but I was taking this book to give you an example so the normal person will take a book and will start reading the book from the first page then you read following for and following. Now, if the book has different topics, we may start and, for instance, start thing here and reading, but we don't do like they do. What Christians do is basically they take a sentence from this page, then they go to the last page, take another sentence, then they go back to the first page, and take another sentence and they're basically building a narrative from pieces that do not connect so what the, the christian does and these messianic jews do is 
you have a puzzle and the normal person will build the puzzle and create a clear image, a perfect image and you'll see things as they are. It's like taking a picture, cutting it into little pieces and when you assemble the picture it will look like reality. Now Christians, what they do is they try to assemble the picture. They see that the picture doesn't fit their narrative. So what they do is they take scissors, they cut around the edges to create a new image that fits their narrative. So instead of a picture, you get a mosaic. So that's what Christians do with the Bible, which is why it is really important for you to learn Torah from Jewish sources. Go to Chabad.org and Jews for if if you are in doubt, go for JewsforJudaism.org. They have great, great support system for Jews that are led astray by these messianic cults that want nothing more than to lead you out of the right path. It is hard to do teshuva, but there is a lot of resources that will help you flee from the clasps of these parasites. If you're Jewish, you have a duty to your people, to yourself, to your bloodline. Christians have persecuted Jews for years. They have done everything to destroy the Jewish people and they failed. No matter how much they forbade Torah, no matter how much Talmuds they burned, no matter how much families they tore apart, they failed. But there, again, first they created Reform Judaism and other forms of Judaism that were adapted to destroy Judaism from the inside. And now we have Messianic Jews that are doing so, infiltrating and trying to destroy Israel from the inside. So, you must be prepared. It's not hard, even if you have a Christian Bible from the Old Testament, you can see that nothing connects with the New Testament. The New Testament contradicts the Old Testament. The trick is, when they start going to you with passages and they tell you, oh, this and this passage refers to Jesus Christ. And you ask them, then can you read the entire chapter to me so that I can understand the context? If you ask them, they'll be at a loss because they cannot fight someone who is curious. And curiosity is your best friend. You need to fight for the truth. And what is the truth? Reading in passages is not a good way. Please make sure to denounce Torah Life Ministries and the detrimental job he is doing against Jews. If you know someone that was misled by Messianic Jews, send them to JewsforJudaism.org, which is an amazing platform with great resources that help you contradict Christians. If you don't, whenever you have Christians trying to indoctrinate you, just ask them kindly if you can borrow their Bible and show them in context the quotes that they're telling you and explain it to them. That's the best thing you can do. Now, I'm rambling a lot, um, and I know I missed some points uh, of what I was saying, but the essential is this. Paul Wilson is misguiding you. Do not trust his YouTube channel and denounce him because he is doing a disservice to the Jewish people. So that's it for this video. Bye. See you in the next video. Please tell me what you think about this video. If you know any other charlatans that are trying to misguide Jews off and away from the Torah, please let me know. 
I really would like to help and do my best to prevent Christians from destroying Judaism from the inside. Anyway, bye and thank you for watching.